Forms and Approval Builder, part of Common Components 9.1, is a business analyst configurable tool that enables you to create your own forms and specify the approval process that they need to follow. Begin by creating the form using the Design Wizard. The first step is to enter the form's basic details. For this demonstration, we'll use a form created previously. Then, enter the instructions you'd like users to see on the Instructions tab of their form. In the third step, you enter the fields that you want to have on your form. These can be displayed in one or two columns. Choose one of the available data types for each field. You can choose from a variety of field types. Clicking the Details link enables you to enter more information about a field. You can automatically convert text entered on a form to uppercase. All form fields can be made required by selecting the required checkbox. The Prompt field enables you to prompt against PeopleSoft records. Dynamic prompting allows you to dynamically control the data that appears in the prompts based upon the selection of other fields' values on the form. Step 4 of the Form Design Wizard enables you to add any attachments that your user should be able to access while filling out the form. Attach a document by clicking on the Attach button and then browsing for the document you wish to attach. In Step 5, choose where in the main menu you would like your form to appear. Simply drill through the links in the Folders section of the page until you find the place where you wish to place your form. In Step 6, add the chain of approval that the form needs to go through. The Lockdown Options field enables you to specify whether or not the fields on a completed form are locked so that they can no longer be modified. Locking down the form after submission prevents the user from making any changes once they have submitted the form. Choosing to lock down the form after approval enables the approver to make entries on the form before approving it. Next, you preview the form. Here, you can see how the form appears to your users. Note that the system indicates the form is still in design mode. The last thing that you need to do is activate the form by clicking the Activate Form link. The form is now available through the main menu in the location you chose in Step 5. Here is the finalized form that the user fills in. The user can set the priority level for the form and enter an information-only due date for approval. On the instructions page, a user can read the instructions specified for this form. On the attachments page, you can download any documents that have been attached to the form. You can also upload any required attachments here. Once you finish entering data, you can save the form. The form can now be submitted for the approval process. PeopleSoft provides you with a way to link the fields on your form to component interface properties. You can enter information on a form and, once approved, can push it to the back-end PeopleSoft database via one or more component interfaces. This eliminates dual data entry, leading to greater accuracy and efficiency within your organization. This feature is designed to allow you to create new records only. For example, you may choose to use this for adding a new vendor or a new account and department number to your system. While there is no coding involved, only technical analysts familiar with PeopleSoft component interfaces should link the form fields to the component interface.